Hi, welcome to the Buzz on Business. I'm Lena Knight. I'm the current chair of the Brunswick Area Chamber of Commerce. And for my daytime job, I work for Lorain County Community College and the University of Akron at Midpoint Campus Center. Today we have three chamber members that are going to be sharing with us um, the exceptional things that their business or organization does do in our area. And I really encourage you to stay with us. You'll be learning a lot. Welcome back to the Buzz on Business. I'm here now with Robin Lewis from eDeep Learning. Welcome, Robin. Thank you. It's nice to have you. It's wonderful to be here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and about your business? Okay, I, am, I have a company that is uh, really focused on the idea of putting education to work for businesses. Okay. And I got started on it because I have a background of training and also in uh, business consulting and technology. And there are very few people in this organization, in this whole world with training, who understand all aspects. The training, people tend to be trainers. The people who are business tend to not understand training. Okay. And the technology people just really want control of things, but they don't really <laughs> understand either side okay. of it. So I have that unique perspective that uh, no one else seems to have okay. looking at the whole big picture of what training does for an organization. Okay, okay. So how long have you been in business? I've been in business for five years now. Okay, all right. And tell us a little bit about um, kind of your perfect client, your perfect customer. Um, how would somebody know that they could use your services? Well, I came from a very, very large company. I worked in the business consulting division as well as simultaneously the learning and knowledge division. So I understand how big businesses handled their training. Oh, and I really am looking to enable companies that are small and mid-sized, that are growing, who would really like that same quality of training for their employees but don't have the resources right away to have somebody in-house to do it for them. Okay. And so they can consult with me, bring me in to take a look at how they want to train the subjects that they feel that they need to have trained and to create training for them. Okay, and then you coordinate that for them? You reach out to the trainers and bring them in? Well, in many cases what I do, uh, the E and e -deep okay. learning is electronic training, what oh, is called e-learning. And so I help companies who are interested in having e-learning, training that can be taken over some kind of electronic device okay. so that you don't necessarily have to have classroom training. Okay. Now if it turns out that they want classroom training and that is perfectly acceptable with certain organizations, I can do that too. Okay. But my real uh, desire is to make sure that they can have this newfangled electronic learning okay. if they want it. Oh, that's wonderful. It gives it a little bit of flexibility, I would presume. It does indeed, uh -huh. and it has certain purposes, like with compliance training, that you can get the same consistent training to oh. everyone. You don't have to worry about if you have a trainer and they forget a key part of it, or they run out of time and they say, okay, well, we'll, we'll just really talk the, about this very, very fast, and nobody okay. picks it up. With e-learning, you can have a consistent training. You can have um, some kind of uh, compliance um, monitoring to make okay. sure that they understand it. And you can even report back to um, an overarching uh, govern governing okay. uh, organization if they so wish to okay. have proof that you have trained your people in something. Okay. Do you find that your clients, um, that you're kind of a one-time, you go in, you handle it, you get their training, or do you offer like the ongoing services and, you know, in six months we'll be back to do this and then in 18 months or however? Yes, it really depends on what the organization wants because my overall strategy is one that is a circular cycle that you need to look to see uh, what the people know, what they need to know, compare it against what they need to know, then identify uh, what they need to learn and sometimes what they need to unlearn, Okay. and then train them in it. And once they've done that, then you need to look again and say, okay, what 
else do we need them okay. to know? And so the so timing of these tra trainings are extremely critical, especially with compliance issues? Yes. Okay. It can be. There can be other ones that are less critical, mm -hmm. but really, honestly, the whole idea is managing the knowledge of your organization and getting it out to the people okay. who are going to need that knowledge when okay. they need it. Okay, and is there you know, a type of business, a size of business that you work best with that you really try to hone in on? Well, actually, it depends on what the service is okay. because there are different services that I offer for different clients depending on their size. Okay. If they are, for instance, a small uh, mom and pop shop, I might do something that is uh, related to their website. E-learning oh. fits very nicely on okay. a website and it gives somebody an opportunity, particularly if they don't have an existing web presence, okay. I can help them with developing a website so that it has the kind of information that they want to get out to their uh, customers, their, their uh, okay. prospects. And then they would be able to continue to manage that site as yes. time moves on. Wonder, yes. oh, my head's spinning now about <laughs> what I'm thinking about. How we, wow, I know people that could use you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Good. But there are other companies that have, uh, for instance, like 300 to 500 people who would like to have e-learning courses, just an e-learning course developed for them. Okay. And so if they're interested in that kind of thing where it's a custom developed course, I can do that too. Okay, so. okay. Now we talked a little bit before the, um, before we started taping that you've been a member of the Brunswick Area Chamber of Commerce for about a year. Mm -hmm. um, what, what things have you utilized with the Chamber? What have been a real benefit for you? Well, I really, really enjoy the copy with the memberships. Mm -hmm. uh, the opportunity to sit around with a group of fellow business people get to know them and what their uh, situations are with their businesses we have very very different businesses mm -hmm. but you can always pull something from what people are experiencing with their own business that you can apply to your okay. own and we'll talk about situations and, and consider possible solutions mm -hmm. that uh, might be able to uh, alleviate some of okay. our Okay, and those are usually if, like one Friday morning a month with the chamber yes, at the chamber usually, office, right? Yes, okay. yeah, usually okay. the second uh, Friday morning of the month. Oh, okay, okay. And you also mentioned that being, um, being that your business is at home, that you found that having access to the office space if oh, you need that, to meet someone. That is critical because as a home-based business, I don't necessarily want to have somebody who wants to meet with me, meet at uh, mm -hmm. my house. I have a, a corporate dog that uh, <laughs> may, not, may not, may not, uh, yes, <laughs> and likewise, if they're a home-based business, they might not want to have you come out sure. to uh, their location either. And it may not be something that we want to have a conversation over coffee at near nearby coffee okay. shop either. So we have the ability to use the space Good. that is a very professional space and very confidential space uh, so Good. that we can meet. Well, that's wonderful. I'm glad that you were mm -hmm. able to add kind of what benefit that you're getting as uh, a chamber member. Um, but I'm so glad, Robin, you were able to join us. Robin Thank you. Lewis, president of eDeep Learning. And we'll be right back after these words.